The death of Hollywood star Treat Williams shocked the world. The 71-year-old, who had more than 120 film credits to his name, died after being involved in a collision on his motorbike on June 12th. Now, in a bizarre twist, the man charged over the star's fatal crash has said he knew the late actor and considered him a friend. Ryan Koss, from Vermont, was cited Tuesday evening on a charge of grossly negligent operation with death, Vermont State Police said in a statement. He is scheduled to face court on September 25th in Bennington, the force said. On Friday, Koss released a statement, which was reported by Fox News. In it, Koss said he was devastated by William's death and offered his sincerest condolences to the star's family. I considered him a friend, Koss said. Koss is the managing creative director of the Dorset Theater Festival in Vermont. He apparently knew Williams for many years as a fellow member of the theater and community. Williams died on June 12th after the collision which occurred just before 5 p.m. State police say Koss, driving a 2008 Honda Element, started to make a left turn on Vermont Route 30 into a parking lot, turning into the path of Williams, who was riding a 1986 Honda VT 700C motorcycle. Williams was unable to avoid a collision and was thrown from his motorcycle, the agency said in a statement the night of the crash. A medical examiner later concluded the actor died of severe trauma and blood loss, it said. Williams' guest starred in HBO's We Own This City, a drama about corruption in Baltimore, played the title character in the film The Congressman, and burst into Hollywood as director Milos Forman's hippie character George Berger in Hair. In a statement following his death, the actor's family said they were beyond devastated. Treat was full of love for his family, for his life, and for his craft, and was truly at the top of his game in all of it, his family said. It is all so shocking right now, but please know that Treat was dearly and deeply loved and respected by his family and everyone who knew him, 